Good morning and welcome to today's webinar from Riverbed Technology. On this webinar we have Paul Wallace, our Director of Product Marketing for the Stingray Business Unit, who will take you through our latest announcement, Stingray 9.0, which you may have seen we announced on Monday. During the presentation, if you have any questions, please submit these in the box on the left-hand side of your screen and Paul will answer them at the end of the presentation. So with that, I'll now pass over to Paul. Thank you very much. Uh, today, um, we're going to talk about why performance matters uh, and what it means to your business. And as Don said, we'll talk about the latest product release from Riverbed, uh, Stingray 9.0. Now, seven seconds seems like a very long time, but many web applications take even longer than that to respond. Uh, in fact, research shows that the average user will wait only around seven seconds before deciding to look elsewhere for information. So it becomes critical that uh, web applications, online websites, and internal intranet applications do deliver performance and uh, activity for your business. So while seven seconds is a long time, 250 milliseconds, just a quarter of a second, is a very short time. But internet users are much more sensitive to time difference, differences and can notice a difference of only one quarter of a second in the response time of an application. So this survey, published in the New York Times, showed that just one quarter of a second was enough to influence the behavior of users so that they would visit a slower website less often than others. Um, seven seconds is a very short time, just a quarter of a second, and while users are sensitive to, uh, uh, to the performance to that degree, let's look at the business impact of that kind of performance as well. Uh, I've got three times of business impact uh, to look at here. The first of these, if I have an e-commerce site, I'm interested in revenue. And what we see is that if you can increase the speed uh, of response of an application, you'll see uh, an increase in order value and products purchased. This, in fact, comes from one of our customers, 8% increase in order value and a corresponding uh, uh, delivery into the bottom line. The second kind of business impact that you might look for is that of brand awareness. Uh, you're looking for people to engage more with a website, with an application, and to understand your, more about your business. So again, we have uh, another example where customers were able to show uh, that uh, the customers engage with a website and a brand uh, with 10% more page views. And by having an application which responds faster, then users stay longer, they uh, take more transactions, and they tell their friends. And that, uh, that builds, the, uh, builds more impact uh, to the business itself. The third example here of impact is, when you, is of productivity on inter, intranet applications such as SharePoint. And by making a, um, a, page, a page load from, an, uh, say, SharePoint or other uh, applications such as SAP, load that much faster, then you have much more productivity from your employees. They spend more time, they interact, they collaborate more. So we're delighted now to announce this week the latest product release of Stingray. Stingray 9.0 comes with three major headlines. The first is that we've integrated the Aptimizer technology for web content optimization into the Stingray Traffic Manager platform. Uh, so it will address many more different kinds of applications, uh, in particular online web applications and e-commerce sites, in addition uh, to uh, applications on a WAN and across an intranet. The second uh, thing that we've done is that we've also made Stingray Optimizer available as a standalone solution so that if, you, if you're looking at uh, an, an existing application or data center where you have some ADC solutions for uh, load balancing, for caching, and so on, this uh, standalone solution will accelerate those applications directly without impact uh, to the, the application or to the network infrastructure that you have there. The third part of the announcement that we have is that we've made available a Stingray Developer Edition, which is free to download and makes it much easier uh, for you to understand and evaluate the kinds of uh, technology we can, uh, we can offer these applications and the way in which they'll accelerate different parts of an application and work across a data center. 
I'll cover that in more, all these three parts in more detail later on in the presentation. But Stingray 9 was announced on this Monday, uh, and uh, most of the information is available through the website. And later I'll show you uh, some of the resources that we have and how to access those. So this completes the Stingray product family. Um, you'll recall the, we have a Stingray Traffic Manager, which is a software and a virtual um, uh, application delivery controller, which gives reliability and availability to uh, applications and helps them scale and become more robust. Uh, we've also had the uh, Stingray application firewall, which is either available as a web server plugin or integrated within the core traffic manager platform for protection against external threats. And now, in addition to the uh, existing Stingray Optimizer web server extension uh, for SharePoint and Microsoft Windows, we now have two new platforms uh, which have an integrated uh, web content optimization integrated into um, Stringray Traffic Manager and the standalone platform that I mentioned just now. So those three product options for Optimizer need a little more explanation to understand how they work together. Um, first of all, Stingray Optimizer as a standalone solution is designed to work with existing ADC solutions and makes it very easy to upgrade and speed up web page views. And, it, and it's available uniquely as both a software and a virtual cloud appliance as well for all kinds of deployments. I also said we've integrated Stingray Optimizer into the core traffic manager uh, platform as an, as an optional add-on that you can, you can use. With just a license upgrade, you can bring that technology in with your existing architecture, but it will also coexist with a number of other application designs as well. And finally, Stingray Optimizer for SharePoint is, it remains available and is the, the best solution out there when you're uh, working with SharePoint. And what I should say is that there's uh, some additional optimization specific to SharePoint, which you'll also find within that platform as well. And that's available as a, a web server extension for uh, .NET and SharePoint uh, web servers. So those three uh, platforms, Stingray Traffic Manager, Stingray Optimizer, and Stingray Application Firewall, are now all part of the uh, Stingray 9 product line. But for the next few slides, I'm going to focus a little more on Stingray Optimizer and web content optimization. optimization. Um, and show you how it actually delivers the kind of acceleration that uh, we've been talking about. In this first example, I'm looking at uh, using the Stingray Traffic Manager as a, uh, as, a core, um, as a core application delivery controller on its own, and it will connect to uh, the application servers to give reliability, load balancing, and availability and uptime in a traditional way. It will provide scalability by offloading key, uh, key functions such as SSL, uh, termination, uh, compression, and other compute intensive uh, activity, caching as well to deliver uh, much more performance from the system itself. But what's new now is that we've extended the performance right through towards the end user uh, to give content optimization. And typically, we have customers who are seeing up to four times faster page loads uh, and 40 to 50 pay, uh, less percent less bandwidth as well. In the second example I can show you, you may have an existing application delivery controller. Um, and in this example, Stingray Optimizer would sit in front of the web servers uh, and manage the traffic uh, in such a way that it would deliver and transform the web pages and accelerate the, uh, the, the, the user experience delivered through so you have exactly the same benefits as you would uh, with the integrated traffic manager solution. So again, this is complementary to existing WAN optimization, content delivery networks, and ADCs, and accelerates stand, uh, uh, all web servers, not just Windows and SharePoint. So I've talked a lot about web content optimization, so let's drill down into what it does and how it works. Stingray Optimizer uses three kinds of techniques to speed up web pages, um, doing this all automatically 
meaning that your developers don't need to spend time hand-tuning web pages and applications. In the first uh, technique that we use, Stingray Optimizer examines each web page and all the embedded objects. Each of those embedded objects means that the web browser has to take another round trip to fetch the resource from the, uh, from the web server, which all adds to the time taken uh, to deliver a web page. So, uh, Optimizer will merge objects like style sheets and images to reduce the number of round trips. Um, and by sending just one object instead of many objects to a web page makes it much easier to display a web page uh, in, in far shorter time. In addition, Optimizer can also adapt the layout so the first time that a page is viewed, it displays much quickly, starts to render much more quickly than it would otherwise, because it preloads the format and, uh, and design of a web page through the style sheets and formatting, so a browser can immediately put the frame together. The second technique uh, that Stingray Optimizer would use is to reduce the data size through compression, through caching, and image resampling. All of these techniques for data reduction mean that you end up with less data, which takes less time to transfer to a, uh, to a web browser across a, a WAN or the internet, again, making the page load much faster. And the third technique is that Optimizer can look at the different kind of uh, browsers and devices which are being used to access and choose different levels of optimization to, shoot, to suit the individual devices. So, for example, I can choose much lower resolution images when I'm delivering to a tablet or a mobile phone if that's an appropriate delivery option for this, uh, for this particular web page. Two of those features that I mentioned uh, were imagery sampling and image, sprite, image spriting. And so I'll just take a, a closer look at those to help you understand what happens. If you look at the two pages on the right, they look very, very similar. But in fact, one has been what we call resampled because the resolution doesn't really need to be as, as detailed uh, as, as all that in the way that it's presented, particularly for a web page. So what Stingray Optimizer can do is take an image and resample it, dramatically reducing the size of it you know, by 50% or more, and recoding it as well as compressing it to make a, a very different uh, uh, size, data size which is transferred. Of course, if I'm on a mobile phone, I need an even lower resolution to be delivered to me than if I was on um, a high-speed uh, broadband connection with a, with a PC or a laptop. So by reducing uh, the colors and the metadata, there's no difference in the appearance, and I can adapt the way it uh, appears. I can, I can strip out metadata, which isn't used for display, um, and I don't need to send the, uh, the high bandwidth version of the pages, which won't necessarily add to the experience. But by making it smaller, I deliver much faster, much more responsive. What I should say is that this, this kind of feature, it, all these features are configurable to make sure that the right set of optimizations are applied to your website and, and uh, the kind of customers that you have. The second uh, feature I wanted to take a look at was image spriting. Now, if you haven't heard of this, this is the idea that if I have a set of images which are being downloaded separately uh, to, uh, on a web page, then if I put them all together, as one single image, as a single download, then what I can do is I can choose which image gets displayed where. So the first image I might put to the top left, the second image I might put to the top right, and the fourth image I can display somewhere different. The web browser knows to use the same resource and choose only the slice of image that we're looking for. But what, what happens, of course, is that rather than multiple requests for multiple items, this is downloaded as a single item, and Stingray Optimizer provides the technology for the browser to choose and display the, the images in the right place at the right time, making the page load much faster with many fewer requests again from the browser to the server. Less bandwidth, less requests, less chatty 
uh, interaction across the WAN or the internet makes for a faster response. So putting all this together, uh, Stingray gives more performance. It helps websites display quicker. It gives more flexibility. It helps you uh, de deploy whether you're going to be in a physical data center. It'll help with migration for, and data center transformation programs <clears throat> through to virtual and cloud infrastructure. And it'll help <clears throat> enable much more cost savings, particularly by uh, uh, increasing the level of consolidation uh, within the data center and enabling much more uh, optimization and cost savings within virtual machines in a virtual and cloud environment. So of the three tools that we discussed, Stingray Optimizer, uh, which is the one that we have focused on most, um, that, as we've said before, is able to compress images and uh, merge them into a single object, compresses style sheets, uh, which is also another major component of, um, of web traffic, and is able to compress, uh, sorry, combine and merge JavaScript files as well and strip out white space um, and change the dynamic, to dynamic layout to increase the f time to first page view. All of that means that once again, I've reduced the time it takes to start to display a page and to finish it displaying a page. And the intelligent caching, uh, browser side caching that Thing or Optimizer enables means that repeat views are even faster to display as well. Stingray Traffic Manager, which we covered in a previous uh, webinar, uh, once again, this is uh, able to reduce the number of servers by optimization in, the, in server efficiency. It's able to increase the capacity and the number of transactions that can be managed concurrently without increasing the, uh, uh, the assets that you're using to deliver. And Stingray Traffic Manager as well has server-side caching, which help reduce the uh, response time again, giving you uh, ease of use, cost, and efficiency benefits as well. And lastly, Stingray Application Firewall, the third part of the uh, Stingray product family, um, is more than a traditional network firewall. It looks further up the stack than a, uh, what you might know as a, a reverse proxy because they don't give you a full view of the business logic. And what Stingray Fire Application Firewall will do is give you a full layer seven uh, application firewall inspect the business logic on transactions, and also has a dual mode detect and protect security benefit as well, allowing you to monitor for false positives while enforcing known threats that are out there. So these three tools together give you uh, a, a fantastic set of capabilities uh, for application delivery and acceleration, but with but together, Stingray helps global enterprises in a wide range of applications, and best of all, helps you deploy in all kinds of environments, whether it's in a fixed data center, or in a virtual data center, uh, or disaster recovery center, or across clouds, public and private cloud technologies as well. So in this example, uh, we, we have uh, examples with customers on single site deployments, uh, we have examples where customers are using Stingray for disaster recovery and for fine granularity about how s services are transferred from one site to another. Uh, we're also able to uh, uh, help people with global load balancing across many sites, as well as content-based routing and geographic-based routing to direct traffic to the most local and most performance site uh, to serve the data. And we're able to help with virtual um, development environments for quality assurance and test, uh, which will then be able to push configuration and capture application delivery uh, rules and policies and deliver them around the world to wherever the application delivery sites are. Further than that, Stingray also has the unique capability to auto-scale in any elastic virtual or cloud uh, environment. So we have customers that are able to use Stingray 
to monitor the service levels in real time of an application and against uh, rules and policies that they've set up, allow it to extend and roll out more, uh, more service resources uh, when the service level is starting to stretch. And then when uh, the demand is reduced, it's able to roll back and release resources when they're no longer needed and stay within the, the uh, service level assurance windows that have been set. So from a technical point of view, Stingray is software that's designed from the ground up for virtualization. It supports most hypervisor and cloud offerings, but we can also run on, uh, on software standalone systems uh, on server, server appliances as well. Um, it's a native implementation and it's got designed for performance at the layer seven ap application inspection level. Very high performance, faster than most hardware appliances. It's designed for application needs. Um, again, at layer seven, the ability to inspect traffic uh, at full speed gives you much more flexibility to in investigate and fine grain control over individual applications and services and users. And traffic script is a great way to customize at an application and business level and is very, very easy to use. And we can, we've got examples on the website and the community which show you how to uh, do a range of activities. All the examples that I've shown you, I've mentioned earlier, geographic tagging, intelligent caching and auto scaling, as well as the ability to invoke Java rules directly uh, from the application delivery controller uh, to implement business rules at a higher level. And finally, from a performance point of view, we're able to deliver the performance that we, uh, that we license to. If you're looking to license one gigabit uh, per second, then Traffic Manager and Stingray Optimizer and Application Firewall are licensed to deliver the throughput at that level. So provided the underlying uh, platform or virtual environment is capable of delivering it, then yes, we are able to deliver and underwrite that kind of performance for you. So it's very easy to uh, size and uh, run through capacity planning uh, for, uh, and plan for growth uh, moving forward in your applications and data centers. So I just now want to step through a couple of customers um, that uh, we've worked with. In previous um, uh, webinars, we've also talked about Microsoft again. I wanted to highlight these. Uh, Microsoft uses Stingray Optimizer in its SharePoint site, which is a showcase site for uh, collaboration and public, uh, public access for SharePoint. And we have the results. They've recently upgraded again, um, again for the SharePoint platform. And they're seeing four times faster page load and even, even more bandwidth uh, savings than seen on this, on this uh, web page as well. But as you'll see, the first page view where you have to download all of the assets to display is almost three times faster than it was pre uh, previously. And repeat page loads are now four times faster where you're looking to refresh and deliver a, a page again because of the intelligent caching and browser side uh, uh, caching rules that Stingray Optimizer is able to implement. The second customer, again, is uh, C-Tickets, uh, which is uh, one of the largest online ticket resellers in Europe. It's a very different kind of business to Microsoft uh, because their entire business is done through online, online sales uh, in, for uh, very peaky, extreme bursts of traffic. And so we've helped them with caching and rate management to make sure that they manage the, the bursts of transactions that they see when they launch a new, uh, a new event or a new, a new ticket sale. Um, and they've also integrated uh, the scripting technology into their own development environments as well. They're using Eclipse, in fact. Um, and they saw as they moved from their own physical data center, moving to uh, a virtual environment in this case, they're able to improve their, um, their uptime even further um, as of uh, the time of this article. Um, and they have a much faster page loading and transactions are completed more quickly, as the quote says. So this is an example where Stingray is helping deliver more transactions more reliably 
to deliver more more business uh, and growth for for a com company like this. Uh, C tickets are also making use of our development license, which we have at the time. And in a moment, I'll show you a bit more about the new developer license that we have. But first, the third customer I wanted to highlight is Alert Boot. Um, Alert Boot run a uh, an, a security and authentication service which allows the control and encryption of hard disks and uh, solid state devices and USB sticks, um, determining who's allowed to access, who manages the keys and so on. And they, uh, they managed about 200,000 endpoints uh, through, through this. And a couple of years ago, they were in their own physical data center and they looked to us for assistance moving to a fully cloud-based implementation. The main concerns were about um, uh, availability and uptime because their reputation depended on availability. And in the transition across to using Stingray in the cloud environment, uh, they're able to see an even increased level of availability in the cloud environment. Um, and they're able to save a significant amount of CapEx by moving across to um, a cloud environment, a much more OpEx-based uh, activity. Now that of course requires that they also uh, have a, a, a range of uh, capacity planning and so on for their retail business, which was very bursty. And previously, they needed to double the, uh, their capacity requirement to manage uh, the, the peaks that they would see on a seasonal basis. With Stingray, they were able to reduce the additional capacity they needed to, needed to buy to only about 30% to match the load that they, they expected to see. So again, that saved a tremendous amount of money in the w and changed the way they manage that kind of data center. Now recently, they had the chance to test Stingray 9 uh, with the integrated web content optimization. They were one of our beta customers. And as you'll see, they had almost instant results. Page, page views were almost twice as fast and about half the, uh, the data traffic as well. So these are instant results by building in the, uh, the new web content optimization technology from Stingray Optimizer into their traffic manager solution means they're in, uh, immediately able to improve their experience with their end customers, uh, which uh, uh, should be useful as they start to grow into new, new business areas. So the key takeaways uh, that we've covered today um, are around uh, the Stingray 9 uh, launch we've done this week, where we've integrated Stingray Optimizer web content optimization into the core traffic manager platform. And we think this will be a core feature of application delivery moving forward, not simply a way of routing traffic and managing traffic and improving efficiency, but also able to uh, make an impact and change and improve and optimize uh, web content to directly change the, the user experience. We now also have the standalone web content optimization solution that will work with your existing CDN or application delivery controllers. So it's a very easy way uh, to enhance the performance of a website and get those business benefits that we saw before, whether it's e-commerce or brand recognition or employee productivity very, very quickly. And finally, uh, the free developer licensing that we've uh, recently announced is something which will encourage anyone to be able to access all of those features. And what we've done is we've made the Stingray Developer Edition available for download from our website. Um, it allows you to test all of the features that we've spoken about, Stingray Optimizer, um, you can actually understand how it will work on your in intranet sites as well as external sites. Um, it's got the application firewall as well, which you can enable as part of the developer edition to look at the different kinds of security implications and talk about governance within your organization. And finally, Stingray Traffic Manager itself will give you uh, a, an opportunity to understand how uh, these technologies can be used to con improve consolidation and ROI on data center transformation. And the great thing about it is that this tool can now be made available as a developer edition to anyone in the organization uh, 
who's looking at different ways of solving particular performance problems. Um, because it can, it can be made available as a virtual appliance or as a software download, uh, you can install this in a wide range of different environments across your, uh, your, your IT infrastructure. Your developers can, uh, can use this to directly understand the impact of your network and application performance on their applications. And your testers can also look at how they can roll this out within a virtual environment. Many test environments these days have uh, a test and staging environment which is virtualized before um, platforms get transferred to the core delivery area. And of course, what Stingray does is it gives you the flexibility, but a core common platform uh, for application delivery, whether you're in development, in test, or production in your core network, uh, which gives you the confidence to roll out new applications much faster, as well as uh, to ex influence and accelerate existing production applications to make a direct impact on your business today. Now that um, is, uh, we've got a URL there to go to request a free trial, and that'll be live very shortly. And in one of the follow-up emails to this webinar, we'll be sending out instructions as well on exactly where to get that. Uh, but um, I think that's probably a good place to end, in fact. Um, and uh, hopefully that's given you a taste of uh, Stingray 9, the recent announcement, as well as some of the details about how Stingray Optimizer works in a way which will accelerate almost all applications in your data center. Okay, thank you, Paul. Um, so we've had a couple of questions come in, uh, but I will remind everyone on the, um, on the webinar today, if you do have questions, please do feel free to submit them in the question box that you see on your screen and we will get to them. Um, but in the meantime, Paul, there's a customer that you uh, met at one of our recent performance summits in Poland. And he's asking, could they use Stingray Optimizer as a standalone product for web pages based on, for example, MySQL? Um, and he provides a couple of other examples as well. Uh, so um, yes, for the web pages that are delivered, uh, Optimizer is in a position where it can de uh, accelerate those. However, uh, depending on the way in which the images are stored, you might want to look at different ways in which that is configured um, and, uh, and deployed in that application. And that's one of the reasons why we've made available the developer edition to let people uh, download that and test in their specific configurations to work out how that, how that might work. Now, if MySQL is um, used for content management um, and, and so on, then it may have a range of common assets which are able to be uh, um, accelerated directly by Optimizer. Um, but I think the best thing to do is to um, work with us and get hold of the develop developer edition and see uh, and work with us and we'll see if we can arrange for the right kind of customization, uh, configuration I should say, uh, to make that application uh, go as well as it can. Okay, and there is a second part to that question, which is, you know, if yes, does this optimization, um, is it as efficient as with SharePoint? I know you mentioned SharePoint earlier. Mm. Okay, so it uses the same technology as uh, Optimizer for SharePoint, but Optimizer for SharePoint actually has some additional rules um, around specific environment for SharePoint itself. Um, Stingray Optimizer for SharePoint uh, takes advantage of, of the knowledge of how SharePoint works, particularly around some of the recent uh, service uh, uh, service packs that were issued for, for SharePoint to make sure that that's um, uh, smoothed over as well. Um, if you would like uh, an evaluation of uh, st the optimizer for SharePoint, that can also be requested uh, through uh, our website. On the website, uh, you'll see two uh, requests. One is to go for the free Stingray uh, download, which will give you a traffic manager which has got all of those capabilities enabled. But there's also a request evaluation, which will give you something slightly different. The developer edition is limited in performance uh, to about one megabit uh, download. It lets people experiment and understand and analyze how, how the optimizer works. 
um, and it integrates with the traffic manager. But the evaluation uh, request that you can make, for uh, we can give you a, a four-week license with unlimited performance uh, for the application that you're looking at. Uh, it may not be unlimited, it may be limited to a couple of gigabytes or something, but let us know the kind of environment that you're actually running in, and our team can make sure you get an, uh, an evaluation which will support uh, the test that you look to run there. And that's the way you can request the SharePoint uh, optimizer for SharePoint as well uh, as a specific one, and we'll have our team help you with that directly. And then we have a, uh, another question. So can Optimizer, integrated in the Traffic Manager, be used to optimize only certain pages served by a virtual server? Or must it be enabled globally in the Traffic Manager? And a second part of that question, is Optimizer integrated with Traffic Script? Okay, so a number of questions there. Um, there is a, a range of configuration options which will allow you to choose uh, which pages get uh, uh, optimized uh, and so on. Um, and there is a limited um, ability to configure the optimizer from within traffic script. But I believe the way that this would normally work would be you would assign a number of different optimizer profiles uh, to, um, to your application, and you would choose which of those profiles is going to apply to which pool uh, within, uh, within Traffic Manager. Again, that's the sort of thing which uh, th there's a range of different configuration options and is a great thing to, to test and experiment uh, with our team using the Developer Edition. And then there's another question. Is there any reporting to show the response times Oh, sorry, response time improvements when using Stingray. Um, so, in fact, we have a website speed tester, uh, which you may be familiar with from the previous optimizer. That's now available directly from the, um, the website. And one of the things that will do is it will look and notice whether a website is already uh, being optimized by Stingray Optimizer and is able to test before and after that would be. Now, there's also, I should say, a, a download uh, which is available um, from, the, uh, from our support pages, which will, the website analyzer itself, which will give you much more detailed insight on that kind of thing. So that will be a useful reporting tool for you to, to look at as well. And um, the questions are starting to come in now, so that's okay. great. Um, so how about performance improvements for cloud solutions like Office 365 um, SharePoint, where all data is encrypted? And again, are we able to, are we able to say how much the, uh, by percentage, sort of the improvement is? Well, for, for Office 365 and uh, similar software as a service platforms, uh, you should also look at the uh, uh, Steelhead Cloud Accelerator solution, which is something we've put in place with Akamai. Um, and while um, Stingray as such is able to accelerate certain kinds of applications, the, Sting the Steelhead Cloud Accelerator is designed specifically for that kind of environment um, and is probably something you should look at. If you use uh, purely a uh, Office 365 or Salesforce um, in its traditional way, then you have no control over the, the other end of that application as delivered at Salesforce. But the partnership we have with Akamai uh, does let you access those as if it was through a steelhead, and steelhead will give you uh, acceleration, making that, that uh, long distance software as a service WAN look very much more like a LAN as well, and give you that kind of acceleration. So that's probably an alternative tool that you should look at for that kind of environment. Okay? Okay. We don't appear to have had any more questions coming in. So, Paul, I think on that note... Oh, sorry. Let's just check this one. Okay, so there's one more that just, just popped up. May we use the global load balancing option as primary DNS server or do we have to consider the global load balancing as forwarder DNS? Um, I would need one of my technical guys to comment directly on that, uh, but certainly uh, we are, uh, our global load balancing technology in Stingray Traffic Manager 
does uh, help with the management of the DNS as well, and I believe it's DNS forwarding. Um, but uh, what we should do is that particular one, I'll get that correct, correct answer for that one, and we'll get that reported back to you. Is that okay? That sounds fine. We will do that, absolutely. So it is earlier than planned, but I think we are ready to end this call. So, Paul, thank you so much for your time, unless there's any last words from you. Uh, well, what I'd say is that if there's any additional questions on there, we'll, um, we'll pick those up and we'll uh, see if we can get answers directly back to individuals concerned. Okay? So thank you to everyone for joining the call today, and this now ends the webinar. Thank you. <laughs>